All right, everyone, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over the tennis lineup build, uh, which is uh, locking in about 16 minutes. So we're going to actually post this at uh, right at lock. We're probably going to be able to, we're probably going to finish right about at lock as well. Um, so as this is building and loading, um, I, I want to show you, I did update the projections. There were some issues that I could just kind of dealt with right now. And the thing I'm looking at next is the standard deviation in projection. That's that's another thing that I kind of look at. And just to make sure that there's no huge outliers and, and I don't see too much. Uh, uh, I can't really show you these columns because it's a little bit proprietary, but um, the, the, the highest deviation, I guess, relative to their price in projection might be Emma Navarro, perhaps. So that we could, I would consider that sort of fragile, I guess. And then with respect to ownership, um, it looks as though my ownership projections are pretty tight. Um, so we'll just see if that actually pans out. So I uploaded, how many did I build here? I built 2000 lineups and let's just see what I get. Um, do have only 15 minutes, but I'll figure it out. So right now, like without like running the Sims, I'd be getting 100% Jordan Thompson, which is very, uh, very interesting. Um, I'm curious what we would get with the Sims. I guess it's because Jordan Thompson 6300 has, well, I don't want to get too much into the, into the projection, but it looks as though he's got winning chances of about 60%. And if a winning chance is sixty percent at that price, he's gonna he's gonna project really really strongly and as huge chalk. So I wonder if you know playing some bias against him uh, is is a decent a bit of leverage. The other thing I'll look at before we run this is is what this is. You know, so I ran this large slate build, and I always like to double check and see how these things are being ranked. So it's the formula is 0.4 times some of my projections plus. All right, so it's 0. 0.6 times the 95th percentile, which is pretty good, of the lineup outcome. And then you ding the whole thing for average ownership, average adjusted ownership. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So I guess this is pretty aggressive anyway. So you could, or I could just go ahead and go into the min uniques game and, um, and uh, you know, get a little bit different that way, making sure that, I'm not affecting the overall aggregate average projection of the portfolio. And we'll remember how to do that. We'll create aggregate metric. I gotta remember not to not to wait right out of time here because it is it is 1047. Um, and then we will we'll keep this average projected score here so that when I screw around, it'll see what I'm doing to it. So it goes down by just a little bit. So it went down by a full two points when I went from min uniques two to min uniques three. And then another four points. So at the very most, I want to go min uniques three. Um, and even when I do that, I'm still getting 95% Jordan Thompson. Um, I, I, again, I just wonder if I'm supposed to just manually play some bias just, just because. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll actually think about that. Let's, uh, let's run a sim, though. And we're going to sim this against itself, okay? And the reason for that is I think these projections are so tight that a lot of people in the industry are going to use them. So I, I, I want to try to get different from this particular build. Like I think this this build is going to be representative of what the um, of what the uh, of what the field is going to do. Um, and you could look and see under pool exposure. Well, I shouldn't say that because I don't think it's going to be 98.5%. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I, instead of using this, well, the reason why I can get away with doing this is then I'd be able to get away from Thompson. Because if I'm presuming that 98% of the field is playing Thompson, I'm going to then get, I imagine, some degree of bias. Um, let's just see what that, let, let's see what that looks like for, for a second. And it is 1048. Got to I got to remember not to run out of time here. And I'm curious to see what this looks like. If I'm going to get that fade that I'm, that I'm expecting. 
you know, if I'm presuming that the pool of lineups is going to have 98% Thompson, which it won't, it'll be like more like 60. Um, I wonder what this is going to actually look like. So if I then go by risk adjusted ROI, it really doesn't do anything. Oh, it does actually check this out. So it went from like 98% um, Thompson to only 25. Uh, and that's, that's kind of what I want out of these sims, right? Let's, let's remind ourselves, let's do this again. So if we did it just based on large slate, we would get 100% Thompson. But if we applied the sims given 98%, for example, then we'd really be fading this. We'd be well under the field. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. But before that, let's see what would happen if instead, well, let's actually, let's save this for now. And again, we'll go min uniques two, and we'll keep doing this until, um, ooh, it went up actually when I meant to win uniques three. Min uniques four is still good. Look at this. And I think that's because, um, well, it's not getting 40 laps. It's because I'm getting to more Jordan Thompson this way because they're rating Thompson a little bit lower. So I think, so this one gives me 40% Thompson, which is a little bit below the field. This is probably a decent mix of these two things. If I wanted to be aggressive, I would go mini uniques one, and then again, put Thompson all the way down to, to 25%, which is, I think, what I'm going to do, like, for now. So let's, for now, do that. We'll put this into the line painter, just, you know, so I don't forget. And then we'll go into the break point. I want to put these in so that... And this one, I'm actually going to have Thompson in spite of the ownership. And then in the qualifiers, I'm probably going to have Thompson both of those as well. He you know, looks that way, which is, which is fine, considering I am going to be under on him in the, um, in the, uh, in the line painter. So let's save these just so they're, we know it's done. And then, then I want to mess around. All right. So this, this I'm very comfortable with this, by the way. So now let's um let's screw around. Let let's change these uh contest sim fields. Instead of simming against ourselves, let's sim against what they would recommend, like the flagship MME uh for the line painter. And for the breakpoint, let's sim against, I guess, the breakpoint, which would be. Uh, I guess high stakes single entry would be decent and qualifier mm, field lineups. I think high stakes single entry for that as well. So let's do that. And when we sim against those settings, I wonder what we're going to end up getting. All right. So when we do that for the line painter, for example, we'd end up with um, like a full 75% Jordan Thompson, even though, like, let, let's see what, let's see what the field is presumed to be doing um, in this one. So let's look at field lineups and we'll look at flagship MME. And it, it's good to know what we are Simming again. So this is what we'd be simming against these 20,000 lineups. Um, but it doesn't really show ownership of those. Hmm. It's got to be a way, right? Well, it's just showing the, the lineups, all 20,000 in this contest that we're presuming, but it's not listing the ownership of these things, which is so interesting. So how do I do that? Well, what I, what I could do, well, let's, oh, sorry, custom, we could create custom field maybe of that. Yeah, okay, that, there we go. So, so these, for example, these are going to be the 5,000 lineups. So instead, let's put in the 5,000 here. 
and then we'll see what the ownership is for the exposure. So here actually for the for the the, the flagship even, it's presuming 89% Thompson. And even that I think is a little bit high though. Um, and so why am I doing this, right? I'm doing this to see what I'm dealing with. I'm doing what the different fields are that I'm kind of trying to sim against. So if I did go with the flagship MME, this is what I'd be, be simming against pretty much. It is 5,000, okay? As a matter, matter of fact, I mean, how many how many entries are even are there? Um, there's only 3,137 entries, but there's probably going to be dupes. Um, so it's kind of tough to to gauge that. So if we did put in say 3,137, and presume they were all unique, which they're not, but assuming they were, we would see that it would be getting like nine. Boy, they're really presuming a big set of exposure to Thompson. Um, so in this particular situation, I mean, I probably, well, what if instead of this, instead of simming against the flagship MMA, let's use um, SaberSim ownership. So let's go back to build one, for example. And for line painter, let's just use, instead of the field, let's just use sim ownership, saber sim ownership. Oh, it's not, it's not even letting me do that. But why is it? So it's picking this field. Yeah, it's not letting me go just on straight on saber sim ownership. All right, the other thing I want to try. the hell of it let's let's use one of the other let's let's use dfs hero we very rarely do this let's let's do this anyway we do have five minutes to go let's 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 see what i could do with using the dfs hero sims just again to see the differences um so the first thing i have to do here and again i'm not as familiar with it we go to um to optimizer no we got to go to um where are we projection hub we want to upload, upload our projections and ownership to here. And name will go to name, fantasy points will go to user projections and ownership will go to user own. Import them all, hit next. Uh, okay, let's uh, map these players correctly. And we're definitely not going to, you know, so we're not going to get this done in time, but just to kind of show you what I could do. I'm done. Oh, we have to choose a load, load name, which I have no idea why we have to do that. All right. So now what we'd have to do is we have to assign like what to use. So we're not going to use the hero projection. We are going to use this one. A hundred percent. And we're going to use the projections, the ownership, the randomness, the exposures, all of it. Okay. Um, so now we got to go back to here and we want to build um, using, uh, uh, well, what do we do here? Settings. Mm. Like all the all these ads are like annoying. I don't want to use hero projections. I want to use oh user projection. Right. Okay. Person. Perfect. So this is my user projection. Is the user ownership perfect? So we'll build. We'll build. Um, I don't know. We'll build five hundred. You know, a thousand. Right. So let's, do, let's build a thousand. Whatever. Or, and then we will hit build. I'm just trying to see what the difference is going to be. And by the time this is done, the slate's going to lock. I'm just to show you something else we could do or we could have done. So what do I want to, I want to build this this you know these thousand lineups and then 
basically just sim them using the ownerships that we have. The reason why I do that is is um, th this like double checks for for um, for dupes. I could stop this right now, but so let's go under sim rank for example. Let's see what happens if I if I stop this for now. No, it's not gonna let me. Let's we want to rank 240 lineups. Let's rank 240 lineups. That's fine. Just to show you what, what I can do with this. So let's say I only built 240 lineups and I was going to rate the top 40, for example. Yeah, so this is slow. But I'm sure, like with most things, I'm not using the red. So and I did have these guys on to show me how to use this a little bit better, but I just either forgot or. So as you see, if you're comparing apples to apps, not even apples to apps, you're comparing these sites and SaberSim is obviously very much quicker. And I wouldn't care if this was slower, if I knew it was a lot better, but there is like one thing we can do with this, like for example. So what we can do is you can export all these um, and I got to make sure I do this the right way. If I export the values, is that what I want to do? Let's see. Ranker values. Yeah. So if we do this, we rated them here by um, by GPP ROI, for example, and it rated them this way. And what you could do is take these dupes out. You know, so what you could do if you wanted to is, you know, data filter or you could do it you know from from the before you even built them make sure you limit them this way but then you would just cut out these you know high dupe lineups um but that's pretty much it so what we can do now is now that it's past 11 o'clock we can go in and download the contest files is it ready yet? Let's see, it is. So we can download the contest files and see our uniqueness and see also how we did with our ownership projections. And then also obviously to what you know the root for. So we built, we have this file here and I save it to, and for my own reasons, you don't have to do it this way. Um, obviously I save it to this file. And the reason why is before I even get into figuring out the dupes and all that stuff, um, I have this other thing that I like to do is I like to compare my ownership projections to actual. And this is a little tool that I kind of created that'll let me do that. Just to help me help me learn and help me get better at this. I'll show you how this works. Um, so this is the tennis. So this is this is all this is doing. It's taking my file, like my ownership projections, and then it's taking the contest file that I uploaded. And it's comparing the two and seeing what, where I messed up. So, okay, so here are the, the rankings by absolute difference of where I made the biggest mistakes as far as ownership. So this one, Iga, I thought it would only be 28 and she was up to 41. And then Tiafo, I thought it would be 13 and, she, and he's up to 22. And you'll see like where I made the mistakes. So we, we try to learn from that and see, uh, and see what's up. Now, how did Thompson do, by the way? Let's see. Thompson was only 39% owned after all that. So it, it looks as though I didn't even need to go to such extremes to fade him. Um, but, uh, and I only project him at 34% as far as ownership projection. But then when I ran the Sims and I ran the actual lineups, I thought I was going to get more. So very interesting. Um, let's take a look at the dupes and we're going to take a look at it from two different perspectives. We'll, we'll first of all, we're going to, how sports projection site here. This is a really, really cool site before other people started doing it. I mean, he, he was the first, so I continue to support him. Let's put uh, tennis. Ooh, it does not have the contest name. Uh, so there's going to be a problem. Dang it. All right, so we let's 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 try anyway. Uh, we'll upload. It's not going to work. I just know it's not. 
Um, yeah, so it's not going to be able to. Well, I mean, can we do this? Can I can at least get my 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 uh, my own stuff? Let's see, um, backspace. I mean, I can get my exposures, but I can't really get my uniqueness here. So it's field versus user. So I'm well under on <laughs> Schneider, Sviatek, you know what I mean? And I'm well over on on Sun, Fretch. Um, actually, yeah. No, actually, I'm over on, 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 on Schneider. Sorry, the blue is me. Um, anyway, let's look at... at can we get user unique percentage? No, I can't get that. But I think we should be able to get it from SaberSim. So let's take a look and let's see if it's if it's updated yet. Um, we'll go into contests. And we'll go into uh, field lineups. No, contests and then all contests. And we'll go into line painter. Uh, it's not really picking it up quite yet. So not able to... Um, analyze the dupes quite yet um, with Saberson, but I, I think it will a little bit later. So again, I apologize for that, but at the very least, we can know who to root for, and that would be, um, what was it, Tiafo, Schneider, Sviatek, etc. Uh, and that'll do it. Uh, good luck to us, and hopefully this was helpful.